Hello friends, welcome back to another episode of Resident Evil Village here on my channel. You might notice that we are not at the altar anymore, um, and that's uh, because I found something. I was playing off screen for a bit, I didn't say it in the last episode because uh, back then I didn't think about it, but when I was editing my episode, uh, the last one, I thought, what the fuck were you doing? Like, was I high when I was playing the last segment? And, um... I did type it out in the video description that I wanted to replay the Battle of the Stronghold, which I did much better, if I do say so myself, because I don't know if I can show you, but I got everything, basically. No, I, it, it, it doesn't load in. Okay. Uh, everything's blue. I got everything. I got every piece of ammo. Uh, I even found a goat that was, that was hidden. And I also got all the treasure. In the crystal room, you could shoot down multiple crystals. Uh, oh, by the way, if, you're not, uh, if you don't care about this, because I still have more to say, you can skip to this time frame right here <laughs> to continue uh, or to actually start watching the episode where I actually start playing. But I have to say something. Um, I did that. Unfortunately... Uh, or, well, fortunately, I finally went into that house that was uh, on the plot where Louisa's house was. Remember, there was one small hut that we couldn't get into. Turns out Ethan can climb over the fence right there, which he cannot do anywhere else. So how was I supposed to know? But, um, yeah, I got in there, I got some more ammo, uh, and uh, a friend of ours also showed up there. Um, this ancient lichen beast i forgot what it was called but uh, you know the big one that attacked us right when we went through uh the gate to moreau's windmills uh i killed it i pumped basically everything i had into it and it was worth it uh, i i'm pretty sure the playstation also records video clips when you get a trophy because we obviously got a trophy for that so if it did record here it is So yeah, uh, the looted drop was worth uh, 80,000 lei, 80,000, yes you heard that right, that was only the loot uh, that the monster dropped, obviously with everything we had I got more from the duke and uh, I bought everything the duke had on offer except for the handgun ammo because we still have a lot of handgun ammo, I upgraded every single weapon to the max level, at least that is available to us right now, and uh, I did not put the flask back into place from Heisenberg. Because I don't know if that would have changed anything, because right now we are here. The castle! Because I also only noticed this when I was editing. Uh, I You might remember the red double door. I did check it out briefly. I opened it and walked in a few uh, inches or something like that. Uh, when we were uh, over here at the well and w w when we climbed down to get Dimitrescu's necklace. Uh, but I did not come back here. Which was a big mistake. I... I did mean to do that while I was recording, but uh, I forgot about it. I simply forgot about it. And, uh, well, now we are here, and there is still something to be found, as you can see right here, because there's still uh, a treasure house, apparently, right here. There should be a goat right here on the fields, uh, because I did hear some... I do remember this <laughs> vividly. I uh, remember hearing uh, clicking when I was editing, and I did not break a goat right here. And uh, what else did I write down? Something in the dungeon still? And when we did that, we still have to go back to the Beneviento estate to grab something from a gravestone, because I did think I I also missed something there. Something was glowing and I didn't pick it up. Uh, I won't have you sit through all of this. I am gonna do this off-screen. This is just my intro for this episode. Uh, um, almost four minutes, right? Four minutes right now, pretty much. Uh, but I did want to tell you that. Uh, I'm gonna do this off-screen. But uh, I just wanted to give you a little heads up and, um, oh yeah, one more thing, one final thing from the technical, from a technical standpoint. I was not happy with the recording quality of pretty much the entire Let's Play because there was some serious stuttering going on all of the time. Uh, the capture card crashes, I can't really help it. That still happens, unfortunately, but it, that did bother me. Uh, you know, this stuttering and stuff, uh, especially when you compare it to my Tell Me Why Let's Play on my channel because... That was crisp 4K, and I do not know what happened uh, that basically everything I record nowadays is so stuttery. Until I was googling around and then I thought of something when I was reading something completely unrelated or, well, halfway related to this. I'm recording to an external hard drive. The hard drive is too slow. And now I'm recording to my SSD, 
and uh, well, I did do some trial recording. And it was so much better, so much more fluid. Basically, the way I see the game right now, at a fluid 60 frames per second. And, uh, yeah, so we fixed that. And uh, um, recording to the SSD also allowed me to increase the quality. So uh, the picture should be as crisp as I can get it with OBS. Uh, and, yeah. It should be much more high quality all around, really. And um, yeah, I just wanted to tell you that. So sorry for brambling on for over five minutes now, right? But um, now you are up to date. Now you know what's going on. And uh, I'm going to pause the recording right here. I'm going to rush through this because this, is, this, this will take some time that isn't really necessary. You know, so uh, yeah, I will pause it and I will see you when I put the... Either when I put the flask into place at the altar... Or if something really intense happens, although I don't know what that should be uh, in the castle, then obviously I will hit uh, record again, right? And uh, yeah, so bye-bye. Um, Hi, it's me again. <laughs> something uh, came up, something very interesting here. We can solve another puzzle, it seems, and then we can open two doors. I think this will just be a shortcut to uh, the area where the Duke set up shop. And pretty much exactly where we need to go, right? To get the treasure. Yeah, well, I will go there and we will do that. And I think I will keep recording for this one. Because it shouldn't take so long. And then I will pause the recording to go into the castle. Because I think that's where this door leads right here. And then I will get everything. Literally everything I missed. Watch me. Oh, well, no, don't watch me. Because you won't be able to. Because I'm going to pause recording, right? But you know what I mean. And uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> well, uh, Let me just... This is my handgun, is it? Yes. Let me just shoot this to here to unlock this door. Oh, open sesame. How magic. And now... Oh, that was enough. Great. Okay, so we opened this door as well. I heard something. Oh, hi. Uh, We can supposedly still do something here. I see regalia. Could this be? This is where we need to go. Okay. Okay. All right. Honey, I'm over here. Oh. oh. <laughs> Almost got me. You rough scallion. Now I'm getting cocky again. <laughs> Excuse me! Oh, he's really fast now, isn't he? He did not like not being able to... Oh, by the way, let me continue my time or two. <laughs> he did not like not being able to kill me, that's for sure. Uh, I suppose shooting it... Oh, the next one is already hot on our tracks. Okay, so shooting it won't help. That means... We have to shoot this one all the way over there, I think. Oh, you know what? That's uh, <laughs> the cute tiny pistol that I used to kill. Okay, I can't do that. Interesting, okay. Uh, the cute little pistol that I used to uh, kill that uh, monster. Lycan. Um. Hmm. I mean, I guess it makes sense that it can come, uh, that uh, the, um, whatever you want to call it, that I used to light up the other, um, flames, I don't know, fires, uh, can come in here because, um, obviously the chain doesn't move that far, but, uh, then how, it's an endless supply, great, okay, good to know at least, um, then how exactly am I supposed to do this then? I mean, that's it in here. That's it in here. There's nothing more to be found, at least. Also, no treasure. Having a flamethrower would be nice. Hmm. Okay, you know what? See you in a second. Me again. 
something very interesting happened. Um, I got a trophy out of nowhere for setting an enemy on fire, and then I turned around and, uh, well, that idiot walked into the fire himself, so I'm not really to blame, but I gladly take the trophy. Uh, and uh, I also placed uh, a mine right in front of me, so it might make boom as soon as I close the screen, because he's coming for us. Uh, and also, um, yeah, something interesting happened. I looted all of uh, Dimitrescu's... Uh, Money. I know how we have to open the door. We have to use a human torch, or not so human anymore, but a human torch to walk all the way to the other one. Okay, so that's how we do it. Um, but um, I did loot um, her riches, uh, a shitload of lay. We got a shitload of lay in the other room, and in this room there is only a chest, a crate that we can break. And so we won't be able to go into the castle after all, I think, but at least we will get the most important stuff. Oh, oh, yeah, I already broke the crate, right? Oh, there's another one, okay. Aha! He found his way. That's it, right? Yeah, that's it, okay. Uh, let me go back to my handgun. Let's wait for the first fucker to come out here. There he is. Poor unfortunate soul. Over here. Come here. Come here. Light it up! I'm just happy that they're so stupid, right? Honey, come here. Come here, and don't you dare burn to death before you lit up my torch. Here, come here. Come here. Ha, thank you. And you know what? Because I don't want to fight with you. <clears throat> okay, well, that didn't go quite as planned, and he... Oh, he's still alive. It is what it is, I guess. Better than nothing. That's also why they don't drop anything, so you can't <laughs> exploit this mechanic right here. Oh. Golden lady statue. Yeah, I wonder what lady that is, right? Got a statue of herself. Mighty fine. Statue based on Dimitrescu. That's narcissistic. Yeah, um, but uh, honestly something that I would do, right? <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. Still more to be found. And for some reason, there's chili in here, too. Don't ask me why. Aha. Magnum ammo. Just one bullet, but it's better than nothing. Okay, so we won't be able to go back into the castle. That sucks a little bit, not gonna lie, but... Um, hmm. Never mind, I guess. We did get some nice stuff. But oh my fucking god, I would really love to get the goat that was here, because I'm sure there was a goat. And I don't think there's any other way. The only way would be the drawbridge, but we can't lower that, unless it, it came down now, of course, right? But I don't think so. Why would it? Um... Hmm. Yeah. Oh. What's this? This is all still part of the castle, but what's this? Right next to the well. I don't really know what house that is, because House Beneviento is way over here. Oh! Wait, could it be down? If we climb down the well? I don't know. Let's go back out. Let's see. Because we're here anyway. <laughs> no encoding overload message yet from OBS. <laughs> uh. Oh, because... No. What? Uh, I really don't know what that house was then, to be completely honest. Yeah, and this is locked, unfortunately, although I don't know why, but okay. 
Hmm. Weird. Very weird. Let's go to the drawbridge. I want to do that real quick. Sorry if this is a patchy episode, so to say, you know, with me pausing the recording and picking it back up whenever something... Nothing changed back there, right? Whenever something interesting happens. No, nothing changed, okay. Uh, because we also still need fish for the last dish from the Duke. For the last meal. And I have no idea where to get that, to be honest. I do remember... That would suck if we couldn't get that anymore. I do remember that uh, after... Yes, exactly. Um, the door that we can't go through anymore right now, that I just tried the, the other red double door. Um, after beating Dimitrescu, we talked to the old hag in uh, the mountain church, or whatever it was called. And I do remember dropping down into some water right there, and uh, there was, or there were, some fish. That would suck if we couldn't get them anymore. Not gonna lie. Because I'm okay if we can't go back into the castle. But I do hope that we will... Wait, where do I even have to go? Oh, that's right, yeah. Uh, but I do hope that we will be able to uh, go back into that one church. Not the one to the right right here, but uh, into the other church, because... Um, no, that didn't do anything, okay. Uh, because... Yeah, you know? Because, that's why. <laughs> no, I can't shoot it, okay. Um, well, in that case... I'm gonna see you in a bit, because I still want to go to House Beneviento for just one minor thing, really, and, uh, you know, I don't want to waste any time, so um, I'm gonna do that off-screen, and I'm gonna see you in a bit, so um, hang in there. Okay, here I am again. It was just um, one more crystal, really, from the gravestone, but I'm still money, right? Uh, I did sell everything we had off... Well, not everything we had, but everything valuable we had off to the Duke, and now let's do what we did at the end of the last episode, which is putting the torso flask into place. With the cutscene coming up. The giant's jealous, and now the cutscene. What? Or not, okay. For some reason I thought that the cutscene uh, where they were all grabbing Rose would come up now, but uh, apparently it didn't. Um, let me save. Uh, yeah, okay. Now we're up to snuff again, and we even got more than before. And we are already half, uh, halfway into today's episode, but oh well. Don't really know what the purpose was of opening the gate now, because it was unlocked anyway, but... Um, also, I'm, fer I'm fairly certain... There will be more lichens coming our way, right? We definitely still have to explore... Um, uh, Heisenberg's factory. We... What's going on? Been there at all. Uh, yeah, <laughs> well, we I don't know what's going on. We haven't been there at all, uh, so there will be definitely enemies. But probably also still lichens. And that shaking didn't sound good, to be honest, but I do have a feeling that it's related to uh, another scene from the trailer where the bridge was coming out of the water in parts. If you remember that. If you saw that. Because we also haven't seen that yet. There's the factory. Oh, now we can see it because the fog is gone, of course. It mysteriously appeared. <laughs> Oh, and we have to put the chalice right uh, down right here, probably, and this will then allow us to go into the factory. This will open a path, maybe? I'm just assuming. Let me try one thing, though. Probably locked. Of course it is locked. Yeah, okay. Um, never mind, then. Let's move on. Let's do that. Uh, oh, yeah, sure. Giant's chalice. 
Giant stone chalice that fits into a pedestal. There's room for four flasks. Not anymore. Ah, uh, no. What? Ah, there it is. So, oh, wow. That was what uh, Mother Miranda needed all four of them for. Because one of them couldn't do it, apparently. Like me. Like us right now, right? This is leading there. Temporary measures, trophy earned. Um. Uh oh. For a second, I thought uh, the game was glitching. I thought I was glitching into the floor, but oh, it turns out this is an elevator. Did I hear clicking? I hope I didn't. How rude would it be if they hit a goat right here when you're going down and you have to hit it at the right time? Kid, even. It'll be fine. Ha! Just get your ass across the bridge. I don't know. I don't know about that. But, um, maybe? He really wants us to help him to break free of uh, his infection because. Um. That's kind of similar to the Bakers, right? Something here? No. Ooh. Oh, we can save right here. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. This is still gonna take some time, that's for sure. Let's save. Even though we even though we didn't really do anything, right? You know what? Let's overwrite number 15 again. Hope that wasn't a mistake. <laughs> Uncharted territory. But maybe somehow we'll still be able to get some fish and some other stuff we missed. I don't know. I just hope it won't come crashing down. Maybe it is a one-way ticket. Maybe that's also why we could save before we stepped onto the bridge. Maybe. <laughs> Ooh. Damn. I just want to take in the view right now. Oh, the waterfall, the waterfall that we saw. From House Beneviento. Ah! Ethan Winters. Welcome. I didn't think you'd make it past Daughter Moreau, but I suppose you survived worse back in America, hmm? I like you. I'd like to speak to you about Rose and Miranda. Maybe he has a crush oh, on come us. Come on in. Don't worry. It's not a trap. Of course it isn't. What are you planning? Why would it be a trap? <laughs> but, um, I do like his voice, not gonna lie. <laughs> Let me guess, Heisenberg's factory, does it close? I mean, I'm sure it will close, but, um, can we open it again is the question. Before I go in, you already know that I'm gonna check out the surrounding area first. For a second I thought there was a body dangling from... <clears throat> Never mind. Um... Wait. I'm still keeping my ears peeled for the next goat because again it's been a while. Even after breaking the one from the stronghold. Thing is, there could be something anywhere, obviously. I just find it weird that there is supposedly nothing around here. Not a goat, not some scrap, not anything, you know. I don't know about that. A lot of heavy machinery. I wonder if all the, uh, uh, if all of this are, could be remnants from 
World War II, maybe? Because I'm sure they were also fighting over here. Because what the fuck are all those tanks doing here, right? Again, for a second I thought I heard the clacking of a goat, but no. Apparently. My heart. Apparently not. Oh! Mm, what do you know? Some scrap, I was about to say. Yeah. Only one way to go, I guess. This almost reminds me of the garage from um, <laughs> Resi 7. Powder. I am pretty sure that this door is unlocked. Oh, okay. How about this one? Aha! We're gonna end up here, though. That's for sure. Only one way to go. Maybe this is another situation like it was in House Beneviento where there's nothing to be found because um, it's gonna be short and, well, th there really is nothing to be found, right? But, uh. hmm. Supposedly nothing up until this door. Could this be another safe room? Not so sure. Heisenberg, yeah. Oh boy. Oh, a radio. You already know what's gonna happen, right? Oh, we have a hatch in the. Welcome to Dead by Daylight. Hmm. <laughs> Could there be some Easter eggs? Oh! Well, maybe, in a way. That's Chris, and that's uh, Mia with Rose, and that's also Rose up there, I suppose, and don't know who that is, but. Uh, Lady D's portrait. Strike through. Oh, okay. What the hell? Which? Mia? Truth hurts, don't you? I hope I didn't miss anything. Let me guess. Your thing. Take me out like the others. And then he gets going, save Rose, right? I'm healing my daughter. Look. Y y you got the soul wrong. Tell them something. Shut your fucking hole! I'm sorry about that. Take a seat. Listen, Ethan, you're being played. What are you talking about? You think this is a game? Actually, it is. I said sit! <sighs> Lady, supersized bitch. Ugly, a psycho doll. And then we're on a freak. Don't you get it? It's a test. To see if you're strong enough to be a part of Miranda's family. I don't want to be a part of Miranda's family. Neither did I, but here we are. And I'm next in line, right? Kill me, move up the chain, well, fuck that! I don't give a damn about your personal issues. I just want to fix my daughter. <laughs> so do I. Do you have any idea how powerful a kid is? Even Miranda's scared of her. Last time, you freak, I swear to God! I know exactly what's down there. I was spoiled, unfortunately. You and me, then. Together, we can go save Rogues, and then we can use her to grind Miranda into paste. My daughter is not a weapon. Fuck you! Uh, 
Last chance. You don't want to find out what's in that hole. I'll take my chances. Your future. Well, honestly, I wouldn't want to take my chance. Because... Yeah. Some... The Capcom ripped off somebody. I guess you could say that. Okay, so only one option. We have to run. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, well, I'm stuck. Great. Um, yeah, I don't know why that didn't work. Why he stood up all of a sudden. A dead end. It, uh, Damn it. <sighs> dead end. Can I? Sorry, just wanted to make sure. Let me guess, we're gonna have to battle that freak, won't we? Where are we? What was that thing? Something we will meet again. A oh, that doesn't look good. That could very well be. A boss battle arena, right? But um, I think this is a good way uh, we're gonna end it. Well, maybe not if I'm overexposed. We're gonna do it like this. Uh, I think this is a good point to end this episode. Um, I'm pretty happy with how far we've gotten. Well, you didn't see most of it, but um, still, I'm, I'm happy with what I did today. And, uh, well, where we are right now. Although I don't know, uh, I don't. Uh, I guess I'm not really happy about really where we are, but uh, you know what I mean. Um, so we're gonna continue exploring and fighting, unfortunately, in the next episode. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. You know the drill. If you like what you saw, then please consider liking and subscribing. That would help me out, uh, and that would help you out to uh, stay in the loop with Resident Evil Village and, well, more stuff that I do. And um, yeah, until ne the next time we meet over the internets, bye-bye. <laughs>